your time today. Now, tell me, what are these social benefit bonds? Well, the social benefit bonds, I think, is one of the most exciting, innovative parts uh, of our budget we've just brought down. It really provides an opportunity for the private sector to become involved, together with the, the NGOs, on delivering better outcomes for this state. Um, in short, uh, rather than government sort of putting money into programs and hoping, uh, this is very much specifically putting payments in on the basis of achieving outcomes. So what the private sector can do is can provide money, partner with an NGO, and whether there be things like re-offending rates uh, in, in our prisons, um, you can have a specific target uh, that they are rewarded on achieving uh, over the longer term, which from a government point of view uh, means that it's less demand on services going forward. So it's it's, it's innovative, it's exciting, but I, but I think the state can be well served by it. Yeah. I suppose one of the things we always talk about, it's great because it brings in private capital to support social businesses, but it actually puts quite a lot of pressure on government, doesn't it, to actually identify very clearly what are the outcomes it wants to achieve. Yeah, that's one of the challenges. I mean, the government needs to understand exactly what it is trying to achieve uh, before it goes to this, and I think that the two areas that we are looking at um, as part of this uh, is the out-of-home care side and uh, reducing reoffending rates uh, within the justice system um, have huge long-term social impacts. I mean, obviously, if, if you're reducing reoffending rates amongst our prisons, well, the cost of having a, a prison uh, in a bed in a jail each year is, you know, upwards to, to $100,000 a year. Now, if that person is instead um, out there uh, in a job uh, contributing to society, uh, well, there's less pressure uh, obviously on state finances, but there's also much better outcomes and social outcomes for, for the people involved, and that's exactly what we want to achieve. Well, that, that's the great thing, isn't it? So you're for an investor, and you're investing in a social business to deliver this, and yes, you'll get a financial rate of return if things go well, but you're also getting that social rate of return because you're helping prisoners to reintegrate in society. You're keeping children out of foster care. Exactly, and that and that's you know that has to be you know a good thing because uh, you, I've heard people talk about the social fabric of society, and if you know if we are reducing or breaking, helping to start to break the cycle in the justice system, and we are intervening in family situations, which means rather than kids being taken off families and put it into out of home care, keeping families together, well, well both of those I think help the social fabric of our society, and at the same time. Um, it does. There is less fiscal risk on, on government because you know you are paying on the basis of outcomes being achieved, um, which is going to deliver savings long term, together with better social out outcomes. Now you mentioned risk. Now this is obviously the first time Australia, anyone in Australia, has tried this. Are you nervous about the risks inherent in uh, social benefit bonds? Well, it's, it's why we want to, to run this trial, you know, two particular programs. To so you're going to do a genuine evaluation? Yeah, and I, and I think that's right. But the, the, the example, the early evidence uh, out of the UK, which is where a trial is being run in, in the justice system there, is, is very positive, but it, it is early days. But, you know, I think that the upside is so immense that uh, we want to be the first place in Australia to, to look at it, and uh, which is why we've announced in the budget, indeed, uh, by the end of September, early October, we hope to be announcing our, our expression of interest process. Do you reckon there are going to be enough investors out there who will be attracted to helping to provide the capital for social businesses so they can deliver the outcomes you want? Well, I mean, all the evidence suggests yes. There, there, is, a, there is a huge uh, range of interest, indeed, uh, talking to the Australian Financial Review amongst uh, all of the budget coverage, uh, this area probably attracted most attention, which, which is interesting. And it suggests to me that there is a real latent uh, source of capital interest capacity uh, in the market that I think this will bring together. So I'm, I'm, I'm very positive about uh, the interest and, and the opportunities. It certainly is a great chance for socially responsible investors and indeed philanthropists to, to look at doing things differently. Now, the criticism I sometimes hear about such bonds is, well, this is a bit rich. Really, what it's about is government getting the private sector to support social businesses um, and then as you reduce public expenditure you're the beneficiary and the danger is that you'll just then cut back on public expenditure. Well no I, I, I think uh, it, it's actually the exact opposite I think you know for the, for the first time uh, you have a, a broad acknowledgement 
by government that there is a better way of, of tackling these huge problems. And if you target resources and also open up new sources of, of capital, because, I mean, a government yeah. does have finite capital. I mean, yeah. a budget is not plentiful. I mean, there is, there is demands on every dollar you have. So finding uh, a new sources of capital um, and then delivering on those in terms of paying back that capital on future savings earned, I, I think is a totally appropriate uh, way for government to act. Um, and then the government does have the flexibility as, as resources are... Uh, released, um, not only do you pay back uh, the, the investors for the risk they've taken uh, through reward payments, but there is then the capacity to either invest additionally into the sector um, or, or elsewhere across government. And I don't think uh, anyone would argue that, uh, that, that every single government service is overfunded. Uh, there are demands across this state. So I, I, I think the balance is right. And, uh, and certainly uh, risk sharing, uh, attracting new capital, and, and focusing on outcomes is exactly uh, what I think a government should be doing. Well, Treasurer, I think this is one of the most innovative games in town. We watch it with interest. Thank you for your time today. It's an absolute pleasure.